Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to my video. <laughs> Sorry, got a little bit of cold fog. Thank you for clicking on this video. This reading is going to be for Taurus, uh, June 29th. And uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I shuffled these pretty good, but um, when I was shuffling, I saw the lovers. Oh, okay. Well, I got to take this one. Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> Immediately. Okay, let's see what that's about. Wow. New beginning. In love. I was just about to say, when I was shuffling, I uh, a couple times saw the lover's card. So... I wonder if that's what this is about. Okay, Taurus. Good card to start out with. Ace of Cups. New beginning. Uh, divinely guided, usually. Um, you could be seeing, and I'm saying this, uh, yes, because there is a yellow monarch, but also because of the time of year, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies. Um, sometimes that does mean there's those are synchronicities and signs, like that something may be coming in. I never thought that was a true thing, but it is. I've been seeing, like, weird birds and stuff like that. And All right, Taurus, let's, uh, let's find out what this Ace of Cups is about. Holy Spirit, please give me the best message for Taurus. You got the world. <laughs> oh, my God. Ace of Cups and the world, that's like... I'm getting emotional. Honestly, that that's amazing for somebody you got. When you get the world card, it's like you've really done a lot of work. And you it, it, you know that uh, saying, you got the world at your fingertips? That's kind of what this picture reminds me of. But Ace of Cups in the world, you could even be traveling the world. Um, oh my gosh. Taurus, finally. Your readings are getting good. I'm excited here. So you got new beginning in the world card. Should we even go any further? No, let's see what, what Spirit has to say. Spirit, can you clarify this Ace of Cups, this new beginning in this world card for Taurus? Please clarify these cards for Taurus. Ten of Wands. Um... Okay, Ten of Wands is kind of like uh, a heavy burden almost. So, you know, this could have been really difficult to, to get to. Or, I mean, well, I'm not saying or, but in looking at this Ten of Wands, she's got flowers on her back. Um, and she's just keeps adding more and more on top. So maybe, uh, a heavy workload. You know what? I want to read what this woman for this deck mystic. This is the mystical moments deck. Um, and I just want to read what she, cause this woman does it differently. So let's see what, uh, okay. Yeah. Responsibility. Responsibilities, burdens, overload, oppression. So you you may need to get like a, a little bit of a balance. Uh, maybe um, maybe you're working really hard. You need to get your uh, balance between your work and your love life. Um, so let's just see what, let's clarify this Ten of Wands. Spirit, what's this Ten of Wands about? What's this Ten of Ten of Wands. Please tell me what this Ten of Wands is for Taurus. Okay. Ah. Well, Tower card. When I when I asked about the Ten of Wands. This, you know, this could have already taken place or this, this, and it, a tower doesn't always have to be like, you know, a bad thing. Um, most of the time 
it's a fast action event that happens unexpectedly. Um, so it it could be anything. Doesn't that doesn't always mean bad news because again, when you get the tower, you can't uh, you can't form a base. Uh, this cold is making me not be able to speak. I'm sorry. You can't form a new relationship um, with a bunch of, you know, stuff that needs to be fixed. So, um, and, and with this being um, divine, divinely guided, the tower's got to come, you know, crashing down. Or this could have already happened because you got the Ace of Cups out, out at first with the world card. So the tower could have been in the past. And that's where the Ten of Wands comes in, your your um, burdens. So let's see, though. Spirit, please clarify the, this tower. Has this happened, or is this going to happen? I'm going to go the way I was going. Please clarify this tower. Guys, I didn't notice when... The card dropped. There is one on the ground right now. And Spirit's saying to take it. <laughs> it's the Ace of Pentacles. Under the Ace of Cups. So not only is there a new beginning in love. There could be a new beginning in a new job. Or love and money. I swear. I probably would have never even seen this. So I'm so sorry. So, um, should I put it before the tower then? No. <laughs> okay. No, literally, I, I saw it there and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to, like, be unfair and not have that in the deck. So, I kind of said a little, that's why I paused for a second. Okay. Enough, enough talking. I'm so sorry about that, but it is meant to be here. Okay? Spirit, please clarify that. Ace of Pentacles, the tower. Give me more info for Taurus. Okay, we got the moon under the world card. And there's actually a moon on the world card also. Um, the moon card is hidden emotions, secrets, um, just being in your head. Um, just think about when you go to sleep. It's dark. That's when you think about most of this stuff. And that's under the world card. So you could be in your head about this, uh, just this new beginning altogether, or this moon card. I got to get some more information. Hold on, something just came to me. Maybe um, the person you're dealing with could be could have hid some feelings. I, I'm getting that one thing. And with it being under the world card, I'm also think something's coming in to me that's saying that um, maybe people aren't happy that you're getting this, you know, world card. So, or this, <laughs> the world. <laughs> this huge gift, I should say. All right, Spirit, please help me out here. I want to give Taurus the definite, correct information. Clarify this moon card for me, please. Okay. Judgment. So that the these cards are supposed to be there. Because this, I mean, this flipped over. Judgment. Divinely guided. She does judgment different than she does. So I want to read you, because it's not justice. It's different, but... It, I mean, they're both balanced and stuff like that. But I, again, I love to read what this woman says about her own deck. Because it's different than what, like, you know, Rider Wade Terrell would say. So. God, why can't I ever find them? I'm moving slow today, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. That, there's justice. Now give me judgment. <laughs> judgment. Choices, redemption, making amends, 
Stonement and Reconciliation. I am so glad I read it. Wow, that's on the Ten of Wands. You're getting a right. This could be somebody from the past on this, if it's a reconciliation. Or it could be just you getting your judgment, like, uh, on the other things. Oh, my God. This, Taurus, this reading is amazing. <laughs> you got, like, two aces, the Ten of Wands, and four major arcan arcanas. I mean, this, there's no there's no negativity in this reading at all. So, please clarify this judgment, card spirit. Please clarify the judgment. Okay, we got the we got a king king of pentacles here. Okay, well, <laughs> Taurus, you're lucky. Okay, who's coming in? Who's this king of pentacles spirit? Who's this king of pentacles coming in? Please clarify this king of pentacles. Who's this coming in? Who's this coming? Okay, now we have the death card. So that's, uh, I, I feel like somebody has gone through a huge trans transformation. That's usually what the death card means. Yes, it could actually be an actual death, which I don't like to say, but um, if, if it was, I'm so sorry for whoever may have went through this, but it, um, I look at the death card as like a rebirth of some sort. And with you having these, these two aces here, I think that that's exactly what that means. But I'm going to clarify it to make sure. Hold on. Just got a thing in my head. My intuition is telling me to go to the bottom of the deck. I usually end up finishing the readings up that way, um, if, if Holy Spirit says to. Okay, yep. Um, and I'll show you. On the world card, okay, with the moon, you got a, the fool card. So someone's definitely taking a leap of faith after being in their, emo in their emotions for quite a while. Okay, and then on this ten of wands in the judgment, you got the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, and um, one of these, Taurus, you could be the Knight of Wands, because the Knight of Wands is a um, uh, creative, um, and it's on the judgment, or you could be this King of Pentacles, but I'm, guess, I'm, I'm guessing that this is you, because you had a project or, or something like all right, and then you have a King of Pentacles coming in, and now I got the Page of Wands, okay, that's uh, someone watching you, maybe, um, I don't want to say spying, but um, someone could be watching you in awe, someone could be watching you online, uh, someone could be watching you because you're getting this new beginning here. Um, but a page one, a page is also news, and that's falling on the tower and the King of Pentacles here. So maybe you're going to get a message. Um, sometimes this this means um, email or text. Okay, and then there's a Knight of Swords here. That's definitely you. That this is definitely like about a. Um, if you got the world card, okay, you had to have done something pretty crazy with the tower and having all these new beginnings. So the Knight of Swords, let me read it so I can, ex so I can explain. It's not always like somebody coming in. It could be you because I, I believe it's uh, new creative uh, endeavors and ideas, but I want to make sure that I'm... want to be sure... Okay. So slow today, moving. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
like it doesn't always for me it doesn't always have to be a person and and that's why i read this because this card represents unwavering devotion to a cause ambition opinionated influential and self-assured so this is probably you taurus <laughs> or your person Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Spirit to give me one more card. I mean, I could have stopped at the world, <laughs> but I kind of wanted to give you a little bit more, and uh, I believe this reading is, there's nothing really negative in here, like I said before, so let's just see, Spirit, can you just clear, and I'm getting that I should do a Oracle card for you so okay spirit can you cl um. i don't know if maybe someone had to walk away from another relationship before they could get this because when it comes up out at the bottom of the deck like that um both of you could have had to move away from from something with that death card too you know okay All right, spirit. That you know, give me one more because the eight of cups isn't the best. Please clarify the eight of cups for me, spirit. King of cups. You got a king of cups now. Well, there's your love. I mean, there's there's your person coming in. So maybe this King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Ah, oh my God. I got it. I got it. You did. You did. I feel, this is what I, I feel like. I'm like, what's this Eight of Cups after all this good news? Maybe you had to walk away from a King of Cups past relationship. Because the Eight of Cups is a walking away card. And when I asked for clarification, the King of Cups came out. Um, in order to get this new beginning with this King of Pentacles. Yep. Yep, that's what it is. That's what it is. Spirit, please. Am I correct? Giving Taurus the correct message, please? Is that what what it was? Is that what that Eight of Cups and King of Cups were? Oh my God, now you get a King of Wands. King of Wands. <laughs> well, this King of Pentacles could be the King of Wands also. You have three kings here, three kings. You could could be a couple people. But that's that's definitely somebody coming in and that one card said um reconciliation. So, I'm guessing that you're going to have a new beginning here. That's what the Ace of Cups is. And the Ace of Pentacles. Amazing reading, Taurus. I'm going to give you an Oracle card or two here. This is the love Lover's Oracle. I would have went with another one. Well, I could go with another one. I could do one from here and one from another. But I'm going with the Lover's Oracle because you got the Ace of Cups right off the jump. Telling me that you have a new beginning in love. So, Spirit, please give me the best Oracle message for Taurus before we go. Please, Spirit. Okay. I don't even know what this card is, but it is. Cupid, it, Cupid's arrow strikes. There's your clarification, Taurus. I don't even really need... Oh, wait, I do. Bottom of the deck, sacred union. We, we said it was divinely guided right in the beginning. You got a sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred that's beautiful oh and then we got sexual union under honor i never even knew this was in there honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for you will find true bliss i'm getting emotional please let me know what happens i hope i love this stuff oh my god taurus have a great day i hope this helps you